How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the channel, new to the series, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. And if you're liking that content, don't forget to subscribe. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the wheel spin here on Streamlabs OBS and also kind of give you my own opinions on it, see if it's something you're going to want to use. So what we're going to do is create our scene. We're going to go over to sources, click on the plus, and you're going to go to spin wheel. So we're going to click on add source, add source, and then you're going to go ahead and click on the go to widget settings. Now, once you do this, it's going to bring you into the widget settings here inside of Streamlabs OBS, and you're going to want to go ahead and fill in all your categories. And then you got these things called a section weight. The section weight to me, I feel it's more of like the probability of landing on certain things. But I could be incorrect on that, and if I am, please let me know inside the comments. But that's what I kind of feel it is. That's why I have this set to 1. I don't land on it as much, but these other ones are set onto 3, and we tend to land on those quite often, so that's why I feel like that is the probability slider. So once you got all of that, and you can pretty much duplicate as many as you need to to kind of fill in the board a little bit, so that way you have more chances of landing on something else, you could do that. Now, once you have all your categories set up, you're going to go to the other areas where you can fill in like the font size, the font weight, you can do text color, you can mess with the, the result color, the inner border width, and so on and so forth. So just kind of mess with this type of stuff and see how it looks for you. And then once you have it how you want, then move on down to where you can add in like your ticker image. You can mess with the ticker size if you want it to be a little bit smaller. You can give it a tone and everything like that. So it's got a noise and everything. Um, I pretty much kept it as it was. So it's just a normal ticker noise. So it's, it's fine. Uh, but if you want to change it, you're more than welcome to. It needs to be, I believe, an MP3 only. So I'm not 100% sure if any other type of sound file will work. And you can also have the center image to be whatever you want it to be as well. Just... You can even use your logo like I did for mine, or you can go ahead and set up with one of the other images that they offer or any other one you find online. So once you have everything pretty much how you want it, go ahead and click on the save settings. And then we're going to go up to the very top here to where it shows the widget URL. So why I want this to be something you guys click on is because you need to be able to see this window. So if you are on a single screen setup, this is where things are going to get a little uncomfortable in terms of how this works. If you have a multiple monitor setup, this probably isn't so bad, but basically what you're going to want to do is click on launch and it's going to open up a separate window that's going to look like this. Now the reason why I say to have this open on a separate monitor is because you have to click on the spin wheel button. So when I click on this, it moves it over here, but it also will move it on the screen too. So I'm gonna click on the spin wheel one more time and you're gonna see it right here. So it's moving and everything like that and it shows the exact same thing on that screen there. And basically it's just a little difficult when you have to jump back and forth if you're on a single screen, but if you're on like a two monitor or three monitor setup, it's a lot easier because you can have that uh, window popped up and then you can just kind of mess with your Streamlabs OBS for the wheel spin and stuff like that. But the wheel spin is really unique in its own way because you can kind of add some creativity and flair to your channel with it by doing giveaways with it. You can have challenges and you can do even like stuff where people can pick a game for you to play next or something like that where they can depending on the game you're playing you can have someone land on pick my class so they give you a whole class setup or something like that just to kind of give you guys some ideas but it's like I said it's just got that small little hiccup because I don't know any other way of being able to spin this while you're over here maybe with the hotkey and the, you know with hotkeys and everything that's going to be in your settings but I'm not 100% sure if that's going to work for this if you guys know a way for it to work, let me know and let people in the comment section know as well. But that's pretty much how the wheel spin works currently for, for what I'm able to understand. So if you guys enjoyed this video and if you're wanting to learn how to stream, how to grow and deal with all the technical stuff, be sure to go ahead and take a look around the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.